Before his injury, John Bennett was a career soldier. While serving in Iraq, he was shot by a sniper. Stepped out, turned back towards the Humvee, and as soon as I did, I got hit. It shattered two vertebrae and fractured another one. I ended up losing my right kidney, my spleen, my colon, and half my pancreas. John's wife, Dina. Paralyzed Veterans of America got us our, our benefits. Senior National Service Officer Michael Killen. I helped him fill out the forms. I hand carried the forms over to the VA and walked them through the system. You're just trying to survive and they help you along the way. It's very nice to see when your work pays off and you're very successful in it because you can see the change in that veteran. Him starting a taxidermy business is accomplishing something every day. I'm glad to be back to work. To learn more about Paralyzed Veterans of America, visit pva.org. A public service of Paralyzed Veterans of America. Talk 1470, WWNN, Pompano Beach, WKIS HD3, Boca Raton, Miami, Fort Lauderdale. Hi, I'm Anna Stevenson. Join me right here every Saturday at 4 p.m. on Spiritual Downloads, where we talk about everything from spiritual matters to what matters to you. So call into Spiritual Downloads and let us hear what you have to say. This is Steve Kane for Phil Thomas Air Conditioning. When our AC system went out, we were lucky to have a neighbor in the air conditioning business, and of course that was Phil Thomas. Phil Thomas AC, 50 years, family owned and operated and always reliable. Phil was at my house in no time. The problem, the AC coils were clogged with dirt and sludge. Phil explained that an air conditioning system like a car you need to have it run efficiently by getting it tuned up periodically. Phil removed the AC coils, gave them a professional acid wash, and then tuned up the entire unit. When he was done, it was blowing ice-cold air. Call Phil Thomas Air Conditioning, 954-434-4576, and tell him that Steve Kane sent you. together now we can make it better now come on can we do it yeah you know that we can we roll it up cause we know how to jump we roll it out cause we know how to skate we'll cut it down cause we know what to eat we'll swap it out we have these stuff can we do it yeah you know that we can can we do it yeah you know that we can Today's a good day to grab your kids and hang out with them for an hour. Dance, walk, play a sport, or cook a healthy meal. Because just moving a little and eating better every day can help make you and your child healthier. Can we do it? Yeah, we know that we can. We'll ball it up. Because we know how to hoop. We'll mess around. Because we know how to play. We'll drop it down. We'll drop it down. We know how to dance. We'll veg it up. Search We Can online to find doable tips and activities that you can use every day to keep you and your kids healthy. Remember, that's We Can. A message from the Ad Council, HHS, and NIH's We Can program. When it comes to getting the word out about your business, radio is second to none. Here you are listening to talk radio right now. Imagine if the message you heard was about your business and why customers should choose you over your competitor. Isn't that what you need to help get to or stay at the top? Right now, right here on this Beasley Broadcast Group station, there are rare opportunities for you to do just that. Learn how you can be on the radio doing your own show about your business. And get those phones ringing. Call 561 997 0074. That's 561 997 0074. Take that small step to big prosperity. Now, call 561 997 0074. 911. These people were ordered to evacuate during Hurricane Ivan, but didn't. Now, I'm in a wheelchair and water's coming in. Can't respond right now because of the condition of the hurricane. Evacuation orders are a serious matter. It means local officials think your life could be in danger. You need to listen to them. This hurricane season, get a plan. Go to floridadisaster.org and get your plan today. This message is brought to you by the Florida Division of Emergency Management, the Florida Association of Broadcasters, and this radio station. Happy, healthy, and wealthy. Follow the American dream. 
on South Florida's AM 1470 WNN. The opinions expressed in the following sponsored program are strictly those of the host, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of the station, its staff, management, or sponsors. Welcome to the Golf and Travel Show, the place to fine-tune your swing, dress for the course, club, or cruise, and get tips on the best places to play and stay at the right price. Vacation or staycation, host Dan Shube, along with his expert co-hosts and guests, will tell you where to go to play golf and vacation, that is. Now, here's Dan. And welcome to the Golf and Travel Show. I'm your host, Dan Shub, and as the name indicates, we're going to be talking golf, and then we're going to be talking travel. And uh, I've been doing this for a long time, talking about golf, writing about golf, travel, entertainment, you name it, in South Florida, and i uh, been a member of the Golf Rise Association as well for a long, long time. And you can expect to get some good tips on golf and travel. Sometimes we have some giveaways, always have some interesting guests, and today is no exception. Uh, a little bit, we're going to be talking with Rick Risky of Adams Golf, finding out about all their new products that they have. And Adams is, uh, I mean, tight lies. It, it says it all. They, they, they really built, uh, or built the prototype for what we use today in those, those fairway shots, fairway woods. So that'll be interesting to see what their newest stuff is all about. We're also going to be welcoming in a little while, uh, world traveler Steve Winters, who's circled the globe, uh, almost a dozen times and, uh, digital travel collager. Nancy Walsh, and, and I, I can't wait to find out about that and see what she's been doing and uh, what digital collaging actually is. I can imagine what it is, but uh, we're going to find out from the expert. But first, what I wanted to do was uh, let everybody know who my co-hosts are. And uh, what we're going to do... Oh, that's... The ship has come in. Um, first, uh, we have uh, co-host Jerry Augustine, and Jerry brings over 25 years of experience in the service and hospitality industry to us. She's currently the president and owner of Sea Dreams Travel in Jupiter, and at Sea Dreams, she's that concierge who can create the perfect vacation for you and your family. Sea Dreams has a very knowledgeable staff that has traveled the world. Her tagline, Your World, Your Way, is exactly what Sea Dreams is all about. And when you listen to the Golf and Travel Show and you hear what Jerry has to say, she's going to prove to you every week how booking travel yourself is not your easiest route. Say hello, Jerry. Happy Friday, everyone. There you go. And... (laughs) Our other co-host... is Jess Frank. And uh, Jess is a PGA teaching professional and owner of the Jess Frank Golf Academy at Boca Dunes Golf and Country Club just down the road in Boca Raton. And Jess specializes in on-course instruction with V1 video analysis, which could be scary, especially around Halloween, but it's the only way to really help is to find out what you're doing wrong. He believes every lesson and swing is different. Jess likes to focus on the scoring part of your game, the short shots taught on the golf course, and that instills confidence. Some of you may know him from his work at area country clubs such as St. Andrews, Boca Laga, and Broken Sound. Jess loves to teach and has a passion for the game. Golf is challenging, but Jess makes it easy for you to learn and excel. Say hello, Jess. Good evening, Dan and Jerry. Another beautiful day on the golf course here in uh, sunny South Florida. I'm kind of glad that that rainy season is finally behind us. Oh, me too. It's uh, The humidity is decreasing, and we are uh, well on our way to having a beautiful winter here. And speaking of beautiful weather, beautiful winter, getting out and playing golf, I had the wonderful opportunity of joining you at your women's golf clinic. I don't ask how I managed to scam my way in there, <laughs> but um, what a wonderful time that was the other night. It was. It was a. It was a really fun night, and we uh, covered some fundamentals about driving and uh, got our ladies a little bit more distance and a little more solid contact, and uh, also a, a beautiful gift bag afterwards um, from Lord and Taylor. So it was a really nice perk. Well, it's said that the women love the long ball. <laughs> <laughs> Usually it's when the guys hit the long ball, but in yeah. this case you were teaching them to hit the long oh, ball themselves. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Any chance you get to add a few more yards on your drive, it's a uh, definite bonus for you. Well, you know, it was fascinating for me to see, you know, first of all, the women getting, well so, getting along so well, and second of all, I mean, not only do they come from different walks of life, but different abilities too, and you were able to teach, what, there's about 12 women or so there, and... Uh, 
You yeah. know, they some of them were hitting the ball 200 yards, and some of them were just beginners. But you were able to work with each and every one of them, and nobody felt uncomfortable. No, it's a good mix. It, it really is. And, and everybody, you know, you, when you cover the fundamentals, uh, everybody can benefit from it, no matter if you're a beginner or if you've played for a while. Um, so, you know, when you go back and, and you try to, you know, make people hit hit the ball a little more solid or, or swing the club a little faster um, and just become a little more consistent, I mean, there's probably not a golfer uh, around that couldn't benefit from that. My theory, and you're the pro, not me, but uh, for somebody who's an absolute beginner, doesn't have a lot of confidence, a little bit self-conscious about the way they may appear to other people, do you think that a clinic like this is the best way for them to get started, or do you think that a one-on-one lesson is the best way to get started? Well, you know, it's different for, for every golfer. I mean, there's there's a lot of uh, ladies who feel uh, comfortable in a group setting, and then there's people who like to learn one-on-one. So, I mean, that's why I offer the different, different programs. Um, but the, the group setting become a lot of fun because for for my ladies clinics I will uh, will we'll cover a topic um, I've covered uh, short shots you know chipping putting and then uh, of course um, on Wednesday night I had covered driving so it really runs the gamut but but it's you know people learn differently so um, I like to kind of offer the different strategies what I like about that though is it's not like some of these TV series you, you can start at any place you want I mean if somebody this was their first one, and they missed the short game ones that you did before. It doesn't really matter. I mean, each one stands by itself. Yeah, no, absolutely. And, and you know, we go, go back, and we cover grip, stance, and posture, of course, some uh, important uh, parts of the golf swing, and then, you know, how the club swings uh, on, a, on a, you know, flatter plane around your body so you can swing the club out and make solid contact uh, with, the, with the club head. So we spoke about two different ways that people could get started with their lessons, right? They could take a group lesson. They could take an individual lesson. Then we have the people that are either just totally scared and they just listen to you on the radio giving <laughs> tips, right? Yeah. So for those people that are not quite ready yet to be seen in public or to have you gotcha. take a look at their swing, what do you got for those folks for tonight? Well, tonight, tonight, I definitely want to cover putting tonight because I think it oh, is... Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. And I, I've heard... Uh, the dreaded Dan, putting. Yes, uh, Dan, uh, I've heard you've had the yips before. But, I've, um, I've lived with them for years, <laughs> unfortunately. But, but the thing about putting is like... You you could hit you could hit two beautiful shots from and cover 400 yards in two shots and then get on the green and from 20 feet and take three shots yes. so it doesn't make a lot of sense and and it's something that people don't practice a lot so i've i have a couple of good tips tonight wait, wait i got to tell you though okay. I, I am the worst offender because right. not only do i not practice but i have a practice putting green outside my bedroom door oh then you have no excuses i have no excuses no, no. other than the fact that i am just a bad student <laughs> that's all bad well, again, bad student we're going to have to get you on a program that i day. think so Absolutely. I think so. Absolutely. But, um, you know, so I, I actually uh, wanted to start with a quote tonight from a pretty good putter, uh, Phil Mickelson. Uh, he says that the stroke itself is a minor, almost insignificant part of putting. Much more critical are consistent setup, reading greens, and most important of all, aiming the club face correctly. Let me say that again, aiming the club face correctly, because that is where I see most amateurs uh, and higher handicap players uh, get into trouble because if a green breaks, let's say, right to left about a foot, is that what happens is that the most players aim the putter face at the hole. When, in, when for instance, they should be aiming out the putter face out right about a foot and let it break in. Mm-hmm. And so what happens is they readjust it because their mind sees one line and the putter face is on another. And so that's where it becomes really inconsistent. And then they don't hit hit the uh, ball in the center of the club face. And so uh, I have a couple a couple drills tonight that's going to help uh, hopefully our listeners. Is that one is my my favorite drill for face alignment is a credit card drill. And what this is is you place a Wait, credit. I, I don't have any credit yeah. cards. My <laughs> wife has. All of them. <laughs> or, or, and actually, it's funny you say that because the ladies really love the credit card drill. Course, it gets their course. attention immediately because yep. they're like, oh, we can go shopping, buy some new golf shoes and some new golf outfits. But the credit card drill, the way it works is that you lay it down long ways facing the line you want, it, you want the ball to start on. Then you put the putter face right behind that credit card with the ball sitting on the credit card, and you stroke the, the, the putter right over that credit card, and the ball's going to start on the line that the credit card is facing. So that is a really, really good way to practice, and one of my favorite drills uh, to offer people. The other 
to, to practice is also kind of discussed this last week. It's one of my favorite drills is the gate drill. And you put two tees on either side of the putter head and you stroke through those two tees. And so what that ha- what happens then is you start to make more solid center face contact and the ball rolls a lot better, which also controls the distance. So it controls the distance, which inc- controls the pace. And so you have a good combination there of face and pace. And so face it, and pace, face and pace. That's the way. That's the way we like to have it here out on the, out on the putting green. Wow. But, you make uh, it sound so easy. Well, you know, and, and and ultimately, you know, when you get out on the golf course, though, you want to have, you want to be reactive. You don't want to think too much. You don't want to have too many thoughts going through your mind. And so, what I always, I always compare um, putting to free throw shooting. So. Definitely want to want to follow a routine. You want to you want to make a few putting strokes, get over the ball, and then roll the ball in the cup and make it real simple. Don't think too much. Sounds so simple. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> I love it. Thank you for the tip for this week. Thank you, Dan. It's early Sunday morning. The sun is coming up. I'm on the tee at seven. I'm here to try my luck. They say this game's a tough one, but I'll give it my best shot. Though the bunkers look like beaches and the greens like parking lots. Oh, Lord. What am I going to do? Help me keep my head down. Save me from those double bogey blues. And welcome back. And if you listen to Jess talk, you won't have those double bogey blues, I guess. But, uh, Jess, you got a word from one of our sponsors, don't you? Absolutely. And I was out there today teaching at the beautiful Boca Dunes Golf and Country Club, one of the best kept secrets in South Palm Beach County, which offers a championship par 72 course, a challenge for all skill levels, and a par 3 executive course for those who want to get in a quick round or are new to the game. Ladies, if you are new to the game who would like to get started, uh, Boca Dunes is offering a ladies' night out November 7th, 3.30 to 6.30 for only $30. You'll get a one-hour group lesson, one hour playing on the executive course, and an, a drinks and hors d'oeuvres hour after. And there will also be raffles and prizes as well. If you're already a golfer, it's a good way to get pointers and meet new people. So call 561-451-1600, extension 101, to reserve your spot today. With the only lighted driving range in Boca Raton, you can also come out and practice till 10 p.m. daily. Come see for yourself what a great course this is. Located at 1400 Country Club Drive in Boca Raton, or check out their website at bocadunes.com. To book your tea time or get additional information, call 561-451-1600, 561-451-1600, extension 101, that number again, to book your tea time, 561-451-1600, extension 101. And, by the way, the Jess Frank Golf Academy is the home of the playing lesson, and my co-host Jess Frank, who for 15 years has been improving golfers' ball striking, consistency, and distance, he's a PGA teaching professional and the owner of the Jess Frank Golf Academy, which is located in Boca Raton at the beautiful Boca Dunes Golf and Country Club. And if you're a seasoned golfer who's trying to break 80 or a beginner, Jess's passion is to help you play better golf and have a lot of fun. Each lesson includes on-course time, V1 video analysis, and focusing on improving all facets of your game. For a limited time, new students who mention the Golf and Travel Show will receive a $25 Edwin Watts Golf Shop gift card with the purchase of a series of lessons. To learn more about the services of the Jess Frank Golf Academy, call 561-213-8579. That's 561-213-8579, or just visit JessFrankGolf.com. And uh, I think it's just about time for our first guest, don't you think? Absolutely. Why don't you have the honors of introducing him? Oh, I'd love to. Um, This gentleman has been a friend of mine for about the past 13 years, and he is one of the best sales reps in South Florida by far, and representing uh, a really innovative company in Adams Golf. Uh, His name's Rick Brisky, and he's been in the golf business for most of his life and a sales rep for the past 22 years. He's been with Adams Golf for the past five years, but before that... He has a history in the golf business that is really cool. In fact, he was the legendary Ben Hogan's assistant at Seminole. So I'd like to bring in Rick Brisky. Uh, Good evening, Rick. How you doing, Jeff? 
I'm Thanks fantastic. No, my pleasure. And, you have and, any Ben Hogan stories? Yeah, I would I would love to hear a Ben Hogan story from you. Yeah, why, why don't we kick this off yeah, before we get into Adams? Everybody wants to hear a Ben Hogan story and a Seminole story as well. I mean, to talk about a, a place with some history too. So, so give us a good Seminole Ben Hogan story. Okay, well, Mr. Hogan came in the, on the property every day at eleven twenty-five. He went through his routine, put the brace on his left knee, and uh, then it went out to hit balls and and. Uh, Eli was his caddy, and uh, he would stand at the other end of the range, whether it was his equalizer pitching wedge that Hogan made at the time or his driver or any club in between, and Mr. Hogan would hit one hop to Eli, the caddy, and never having to move. And so after I got to know Mr. Hogan after spending five winters with him, I said, Mr. Hogan, why don't you at least make Eli move a little bit, you know, so he, he gets a little exercise <laughs> instead of just standing out, sitting on one knee and catching your uh, one-hop shots that you hit to him. And Mr. Hogan never said a whole lot, but he had that little smile, and he'd hit it like five or six feet to the right or left of Eli, and Eli would put his arms up and like, what the hell is wrong with you, Mr. Hogan? You know, you're hitting it, you know, five, six feet to the right. And, uh, <laughs> you know, there's a lot of stories to tell about Mr. Hogan, you know, they get better as I get older, but uh, he was unbelievable how how good he hit it. He doesn't hit it two fairways over like the guys do now. I, I thought you were going to say that they get better on the 19th hole with each successive beer. Uh, he actually <laughs> drank martinis with three olives and uh, smoked Kent threes, but he, he was a real nice man. He was not very loquacious and whatnot, but he was a real nice man. He was best friends with George Coleman, who Mr. Coleman was the president of Seminole, and they had a great friendship, but I was lucky to be able to get a, hang out with him for five winters. Now, now he, for Jerry he, he did not have the benefit of the incredible technology that golf equipment has today and products like Adams has. I mean, the, the technology that, that he played with, if we had to play with those kinds of clubs, we'd be lost probably. So I think that's a good opportunity for you to tell us a little bit more about what's going on in Adams golf. All right. Well, Adams wants to be known as the easy to hit easy to deal with company for our customers and for the consumer. And uh, we've been the leaders in innovative, easy-to-hit product for all levels of golfers. And now we have a new logo and a new color and a new branding that since TaylorMade Adidas has bought us, we've uh, changed our logo and our branding. And uh, we, we've, we've got a personality that we want to have people think of as fun, friendly, and inviting and uh, be the second shot specialist with their hybrids and their fairy woods. So we're coming out with the idea line of products that's actually starting to ship right now, and uh, it's been well received, and, and it's uh, going to do well this winter for sure down here. Well, as a uh, PGA teaching professional ha- helping those uh, high handicap amateurs, Rick, I-, I noticed that in the new equipment, it actually has a wraparound slot design towards the toe because, as we know, most golfers come over the top a little steep into it. So um, how does that help uh, you know the average player uh, improve their ball striking? Well, like you said, they come over the top, they're hitting it on the toe, that wraparound slot, it just gives them like 23% more forgiveness out on the toe, which which is the higher handicapper that you're giving lessons to. You're going to help, plus the product's going to help them. That's why Adams has done so well over the last seven, eight years, because people that buy it are always happy with our product, and uh, they don't bring it back, and uh, you know it helps them hit it better along with the PJ Pros that they get lessons from. There's only one PJ Pro in South Florida. Is that you, Jess? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Rick. I know we go we go way back. So Rick and I are friends, and uh, you know he's uh, he's done a lot for me, and uh, I am on the Adams Golf staff. Uh, full disclosure. So, uh, but it, they are really good irons for every level of player, like Rick said. And and what's really neat about this new set of idea irons is that and hybrids is that it goes all the way up through a, a seven hybrid, and then it goes transitional set. Is that correct, Rick? Into some more more irons. That's right, and they each come with a cut-through velocity slot technology. It's two times hotter than, like, the original tight lies, you know, the new fairy wood that we have out. Mm-hmm. It was 110 and 99 when we sold 4 million of them, and now it's 220 CT, which uh, is a new buzzword in golf as far as the last year or two, a couple of years, characteristic time, how quick the ball comes off the club face. And uh, 
you know, it's just the Adams product. It's just easy to hit. It's easy to sell. And uh, you know, all you folks out there listening, if if you don't go see your local PJ golf professional for help, then uh, sometimes it doesn't matter what club you use. You got, you got to get the basics down. And then, then go buy the Adams clubs after that. Can I make an observation? Not as a pro, okay? I, a lot of people that I see out there, they want their clubs to be hot and long. But in my personal opinion, you had mentioned that you want to be the specialist in the second shot. To me, other than, you know, the driver in the second shot, you want the ball to go far. The other clubs, not necessarily. I mean, distance right. isn't as important. You could always take an extra club. But, um, that second shot, you know, on those par fives, if you want to get on in two, that's when you really need the distance, right? Right, and and that's where the new tight lies ferry wood that was out in '99, and like I said, we sold four million of them that year. It the tight lies ferry wood is is a no brainer for the everybody that has a three wood now has that mini driver looking three wood in their bag, and and if you ask all the golfers out there, there's only like one percent that like their three wood. They they can't hit it, and that's the that's the reason why we came back uh, with the easy. To hit tight lies ferry woods because it's the right time and we probably should have done it sooner but you know it's been going crazy and uh you know there's a guy up in stewart that got 24 and they sold 20 in like the first three weeks they got them so if you're not out there trying to tight lies ferry wood the three wood you're using is just not going to be much fun to hit yeah, and you know the tight lies. It's also a really pretty looking head too. It's aerodynamic. It has the velocity slot cut through technology, and it's got the hot face, low center of gravity. So it just helps people get the ball in the air, right, Rick? Right. And it's got it's got actually the tri level sole. You know, it's easy to hit from the rough, the sand, tight lie. Obviously, uh, it's playability from everywhere, no matter where you are. And I don't know if you, any of you seen the ads, but we've been out there with. Tom Watson and Kenny Perry, and you know those guys are hitting from anywhere. But even your Mrs. Jones or Mrs. Smith or whoever at, at the local club can hit that that fairway, and they're going to see a launch angle that they haven't seen with any other three wood. And and the senior player and the regular and even the the better player. Yeah, and you know what what I always what I really like about what Adams does uh, for for ladies is they they make uh, uh, pri- the best women's uh, bag set uh, their complete set where they put in the drivers and the iron set and the hybrids and the putter and they get a bag for I mean probably the best value going out there and so and that's what it's it's all the new technology goes into that set. And um, Rick, I know you and I have talked about this a lot. Where it's just it's the best value out there for for clubs. Right, and we own the women's product category. We we do tooling, unique tooling, that is entirely for women. It's not a men's set that's cut down. It's it's a women's club that's tooled for women. We change the head weights, loss, and lie angles for a better fit. We even change the shafts, the grips. I mean, it's a whole it's a complete set makeup. From driver to putter, and it's available in four, four different colors, and it's it's a home run for even the woman that's a ten handicap at the local country club or the beginner. It's a it's a no brainer for either one of them. I, I would just want to say something when you had mentioned that since you guys have been taken over by Taylor Made Adidas, thank goodness because if you're against them, that's a bad place to be these days, right? I mean, that's a strong company. They really know what they're doing, and and I would want to have them on my team, not to compete against them. I think. And you know what's funny? You say that it's it's uh, it's in the little binder that we get at as a sales meeting this past September out in Las Vegas, and and that's just true. Right? We're we're big enough where we can we can do different things that other companies can't do, like the new driver we have coming out December first. We test it four times for CT and COR. No other company tests it for more than once. So the CT on the driver is going to be much closer to. 238, which is the magic number. And, uh, you know, nobody else even does that. And, uh, when Kenny Perry has three drivers that he has in his, uh, you know, possession, he knows all three are the similar. Sometimes you get one that's 230, 240, or whatever, you know, it's 250. It's not consistent. And when the biggest thing is Jess knows, you do a demo day at a local club down here and the, and the member doesn't want to order the uh, club because he wants to buy the one he demoed. And he thinks, they're not all the same, which is from the other companies. It's, it's true. They're not all the same, but ours are, our tolerance is only four points. 
the other companies are like 16 or 18. So that's huge when you can tell a member at a club, you can order that club and be, you know, you'll be satisfied with it and, and trust that it's going to be very similar to what you're using. Yeah, and, and uh, Justin Honea, the uh, research and development,